Hi guys, it's Rosalie. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I wanted to talk to you all about milk. And some of you may have heard and some of you may not have heard that milk is not always the best thing for you. You may have milk allergies, um, it just may not agree with your system, and this is where milk substitutes come into place. If you miss your cereal and you're not 100% raw, because I certainly am not 100% raw, then I suggest the following substitutions. I've talked about almond milks before and I do use them. I have right here Silk Pure Almond and I just I use this over granola, I use it um, in, you know, in making a smoothie drink and pancake mixes and I'll talk to you guys about that in just a second and it just it has a really good taste um, it doesn't you know, it just sort of takes on the taste of whatever you're using it with so it's not like it's very distinct um, you can drink it by itself you can add a little vanilla to it or just buy it um, already sweetened with vanilla and it's it's only 60 calories a serving so, Silk Pure Almond is a really good bet. I also have the uh, Blue Diamond Almond Breeze Almond Milk, similar to the Silk Pure Almond. And this one is 40 calories a serving because it is unsweetened. And I like to go for unsweetened more than the sweetened variety uh, because you don't really need the extra sugars in your system. But Either way, you're doing a really good thing for your body if you're even talking about implementing these types of things into your diet. So we have this, and we also have um, something that I did not know existed, whole grain drinks. Whole grain drinks. This is from Trader Joe's, and it's gluten-free, it's dairy-free, and it's made with organic brown rice amaranth, millet, and quinoa. And I tasted it and it tastes, it almost tastes like it has a hint of vanilla in it um, and a hint of just like a nutty earthy flavor but it's not overpowering. It's not like you're gonna drink it and just you know it's all all grain. It's got a very nice smooth flavor and if you don't like the almond milk or if you don't like any kind of nut milk because they do make walnut milk and hazelnut milk then you can try the whole grain milk and if you just don't want to deal with milks at all because I know they have a coconut milk too just stick with water <laughs> if that works for you um, and they say that it's enriched with vitamins A, D, B12 and calcium so this is good now I also want to talk to you guys about this thing here. It's gluten-free, wheat-free, dairy-free pancake mix. It is by Bob's Red Mill. And the reason that I bought this is because I was really happy to see what they had written in their description. They said, our gluten-free pancake mix makes up quickly and produces perfect, very light and fluffy pancakes everyone will enjoy. Use any kind of milk, soy, rice, there's also rice milk, almond, or cow that is suitable for your diet. Add blueberries or bananas for pure pleasure, or strawberries or raspberries, whatever you like. I just thought that was so cool because this is the first time that, I'm, that I, I've seen any kind of a mix, whether it be waffle, pancake, cake mix, that says that you can use soy rice almond or cow because sometimes I try to just I have to sort of guess or just experiment with milks and regular mixes but this one is suited for those for any kind of milk so I thought this was pretty cool and I'm gonna I'm looking forward to trying it um, and if you don't want to go out there and purchase almond milk and you want to make your own it's very simple I'll make some too, actually, in a little bit. All you really need is a cup of almonds. I need to soak them. 
and four cups of filtered water. And you drain and rinse the almonds, put them in the blender with the, raw, with the water, and then you just use a fine mesh strainer. And you can add dates for flavoring or sweetness, and you can add vanilla. And I will go ahead and do a little demonstration of that in a second. So there you have it. You have all sorts of options out there. We're living in a great time where there are substitutions for anything. They won't even seem like you substituted some, you know, most of the time. And you can still enjoy the foods that you love without feeling like you're making just huge sacrifices. Because health does take sacrificing to be in good health. It takes sacrificing what you once considered you know, just good for your body. But you will soon find out that all of these changes that you're making will actually lighten your spirit and just make you a happy person overall. Um, so I hope you all have a wonderful Sunday and a happy Father's Day. And I will be back with a milk, a an almond milk demonstration. Bye, guys.